Co-Extra presented the results of four years of scientific research in Paris on the 3rd to the 5th of June 2009 and considered their integration with other EU and international studies to provide information for the management of GMOs and their products from farm to fork. More than 400 participants from Europe, South America, the USA and elsewhere took the opportunity to inform themselves on the following themes. Management of gene flow, including agricultural and biological containment techniques. Sampling strategies and the detection, identification and quantification of GM ingredients in crops, foods and feed supply chains, including the detection of unapproved GMOs. Modeling of supply chains of practical and economic aspects of coexistence and traceability in the food and feed supply chains, including costs and benefits. Liability and redress issues associated with managing crop production and supply chains. Coexistence and traceability practices around the world. Technologies for effective supply chain management, including data integration and decision support systems known as DSS. Stakeholder Views The Stakeholder Workshop, held on Friday, 5th of June 2009, enabled discussion on coexistence and traceability issues and illuminated the demands, needs and practical experiences of stakeholders. Based on the outcome of these projects, on international experience and on the contributions of COEXTRA, the discussion addressed the management of GM and non-GM production and supply chains to suit European and international requirements. Aiming to enhance practical implementation of the techniques developed, COEXTRA was the first attempt to take into account the range of stakeholders' practices from seed to shelf through consumer surveys, company interviews and stakeholders' focus groups. Co-Extra first regarded current practices in the EU and third countries, identified bottlenecks and then proposed solutions. Co-Extra described processes, developed models and tested strategies. Besides experimental work and the modeling of phenomena such as economies and pollen flow, the information from which may be used to optimize segregation strategies downstream, Coextra has released numerous technical and legal results. These are all intended to favor coexistence and traceability at the lowest cost. Donc ça, ça a été utilisé. En fait, on s'aperçoit qu'il y a une stérilité qui permet donc un très bon confinement. So. The baseline for the coextra work was about uh, coexistence, which should provide both farmers and consumers freedom of choice. So we were working on several biocontainment measures in the War Package 1, and several ones are quite efficient uh, in reducing the pollen flow. But, uh, and in, in fact, some, some, some very interesting part, although it's that. Uh, uh, this kind of biocontainment are also able to increase the yield in some cases. Uh, most of the work was done on a rapeseed cleistogamy, uh, maize cytoplasmic malsterility, and a part which, which was mostly about a, a literature, uh, literature survey was a, about plastic transformation. So our work has been done on the maize pollen dissemination, which is quite large compared to the practical contractual, practical threshold used by the stakeholders. And several statistical models have been validated. Well, there are probably a lot of work to, again to, to do, but there is a lot of already done. The effect of uh, seeds and mixture and stake gene on the current models and on um, dispersion model and farm outcomes have been stood. And uh, there are some uh, quite interesting uh, uh, results, uh, mostly because the number of stake genes is increasing worldwide, and it means in Europe too. Uh, we have to take into account not only the protection of the seeds producer working for the industry, but also the people that are producing their own seeds, both the farm seeds, safe seeds. And the genetic resources have to be preserved 
and we have probably to find compensation system for countries they have uh, this, this issue to solve, like for instance, uh, because they are a uh, center of resource or, of origin. The conventional, the coexistence is possible only if the conventional varieties are still improved, are inbred, and made available. It, it is just an issue, for instance, in some countries at this moment, that the distributors are not providing easily the conventional counterparts of some GM varieties. It is highly depending, of course, of the high priority seeds level, and the valorization of all supply chain is necessary. But we have to find a solution, but at least it is to, to point out, to highlight for uh, decision makers. Biocontainment measures are efficient, but the main problem will be the commercial availability. And some of those systems, like a, a TCMS in mice, are also very sensitive to some disease. Even some are tolerant, but it means uh, we, we may be face some epidemics like we, we had in the 70s for the CMST. Uh, so, probably uh, some uh, biocontainment method will be usable only for small surfaces for non food GMOs, but it is still to be discussed. And uh, what we have to take in on board, and it is the first time it is really uh, taken on board in a re European research project on coexistence, is that there is an issue due to the practical contractual threshold used by the stakeholders after the farm. And if it is not taken on board, clearly there is no, me no possibility of coexistence. Working in an ideal virtual world is not what we had to do in Coextra. Those, those threshold still need to be defined. European companies, except SMEs, are quite well aware of traceability. There are, there are mandatory traceability due, for instance, to the general food law. <clears throat> they know quite well the segregation market. Uh, it can be starting uh, in some countries <coughs> with WAXC, for instance, in Argentina, but it can be starting with some uh, PGO or PGI in Europe. And uh, the common practice we observe is a, a contractual practical threshold of between one third and one tenth of the labeling threshold. And it means that according to the current 0.9% of labeling, most of the company are working at 0.1. And in some cases, we are able to see odd IP with 0.01%, but it's uh, we don't know the proportion of hard IP versus usual IP, or uh, uh, IP not only in, from third country, but also in Europe. Several models were developed, in particular one about the efficient and cost-effective segregation with three possible strategies using GMO, different GMO content, etc., etc. But uh, clearly, this model shows that uh, it is highly depending on the GMO pressure and GMO content uh, with, uh, of the products they are entering the supply chain.